Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have Ferrisville Press New Ink, the Purple Jade Rabbit. Now, last I checked, they were almost sold out of this. Hopefully they still have some available. I've been playing around with this ink, and it is so very pretty. It's a lovely light purple with this gorgeous silver shimmer. So I actually have a previous swab sample to really show off that silver shimmer. I know sometimes it takes a little while for this ink to dry. And you don't get to see the full glory of that shimmer that Ferris Wheel Press packs into that ink. So there's that and I'm going to be doing a swab and a spatter and a writing sample today. So get started. I'll have onion skin paper and the Tomoe River paper and I'll get started with a fresh swab so we can see what that looks like. Obviously you want to shake up shimmer inks really well or if you're a more patient type where you can set it upside down and keep turning it, you'll get less air bubbles that way in your ink. And starting off with a swab over here on the onion skin paper. This kind of reminds me of like a very dusty purple. I love how the second one's always just so anticlimactic. It's just like, nah. There we go. <laughs> Plenty of ink that way. And for the pen that I will be using, I'll be using my Sailor Pro Gear. This is the Stellar Black Hole Edition. I call this my Captain Kirk pen. This has a zoom nib, so it will lay ink fairly generously. And I think I'll start on the onion skin. You can already see some of that shimmer coming out. And Ferris Wheel Press sent me this ink to review, but I am a longtime fan of Ferris Wheel Press inks now, and uh, I've really enjoyed them. I do tend to prefer their more uh, saturated colors. But, um, I don't know, I'm really liking this one. It has some variation to it. I'm really thinking that I'll enjoy it for journaling. More of an artistic ink than just an everyday writing ink. So the Purple Jade Rabbit. I'm using my zoom nib with a fairly fat line right now. This is more closer to a broad. But yeah, I am. I Some of their lighter inks I haven't enjoyed as much. This one, I really actually quite like. I love, let's see if I can pick it up without spilling that ink everywhere. I love the variation in this one. I think I need to plan something, some kind of quote or something for this one. I, I just really enjoy the way that when it hits and you get all that different. I don't know. It's just really pretty. I like this one. It might just be the fact that I don't really care for purple inks and this one's just kind of captured my interest.
be a really great Easter color ink. Very springy. Alright, set that aside and I'm just going to grab some of this pooled ink. I hate wasting ink, but that's just a lot. Grab a little bit from over here. You can see all that shimmer. It's insane. And this ink especially, I don't know that, maybe it's the silver? It's just absolutely stunning. So yeah, even though this is a lighter color ink, I'm kind of a big fan. I'm glad I have a whole bottle of this. Really pretty. And that older sample, again, this was swabbed a few weeks ago and still just as shimmery. Hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Have you tried the Purple Jade Rabbit ink or is this something you'd be interested in? I'd love to know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Did we get enough bottle appreciation? I don't know. Look at all that shimmer. Mm. Fantastic.